a carbon road bike like this one here. It's a pinnacle of cycling technology and many of us desire to own a road bike like this, whether for racing or riding for enjoyment and fun. But bikes like this can be pretty damn expensive, especially these days. And it's no secret that most carbon frames and wheels are made in China. So why not go direct and buy from a Chinese bike brand? Well, Yolo is one such Chinese brand. They've been around for 15 years and this is their new flagship aero race bike. So in this video, I'll give you a closer look at this bike and all the details on it and talk about the pros and cons of buying from a brand like Yolio. Now for full transparency, this video is sponsored by Yolio and you can find out more about this bike and our products in their catalog at their website, linked down below. Okay, let's dive in. Let's start by answering the question of who Yolio are that you probably have. I'm sure many of you haven't heard of this brand before. They've been around for about 15 years, so definitely not a new kid on the block. Plenty of experience and expertise under their belts already. They started out as an OEM manufacturer making frames and components for other brands before a few years ago, setting up Yolio as their own brand and trying to compete with the more mainstream brands in the cycling world. While they don't have the storied legacy and heritage of longer running, long established European bike brands, 15 years in the context of how long carbon fiber has been used in the bicycle industry is a pretty long time. One myth to put to bed straight away is the fact this isn't an open mold frame. So you might have heard a term open mold banded around internet forums by armchair experts over the years, but the term open mold isn't actually a bad thing. It's just an off the shelf frame that a bike brand can use and modify to suit the requirements rather than design their own frame from scratch. But this isn't an open mold frame. The company has designed it from scratch. So you won't find another frame with another brand on a down tube. This is their own frame. And my goodness, what a good looking modern aero race frame it is. Certainly up there with anything from other brands like Specialized and Candel and Trek. So you have a deep aero head tube, deep fork blades, this deep cam tail down tube, stepped a bit like a Pinarello Dogma there, big press fit bottom bracket, aero seat tube and seat post, and only minimally dropped rear stays as well, I like that. Loads of tire clearance, space for 32 mil wide tires, full internal cable routing as well, with their own one piece carbon handlebar and stem. And when you buy a complete bike online, you can choose the width of the handlebar as well. That's really nice detail. So yeah, a really good looking frame. And then the paint job. I love the two-tone glitter. It sparkles when it's sunny. Just one of several colors available as well. More choice than you get from most mainstream brands. The frames are also tested to a really high standard, which is very reassuring. And the company is now sponsoring a professional cycling team, which is great for marketing, but also product feedback as well. And for extra peace of mind, all frames come with a three-year warranty and you can pay extra for a lifetime warranty as well. Underneath the paint, we have a claimed 950 gram frame, which is pretty decent, and a 390 gram fork. And this build with a mechanical Shimano Ultegra group set and the company's own wheels, more on this later, weighs eight kilograms on the nose. So pretty decent for a bike of this specification and all the aero features on this bike. Not only does the company make frames, but it also makes wheels, as you can probably tell. These are the new top of the range flagship aero race wheels. And they really stand out because they have really funky carbon fiber spokes. Oh yes, it's like a throwback from the 90s. They are 50 mil deep. They do shallower and deeper wheels as well. Very wide, so 27 wide, so nice width for a wide tire like we have here. They are clincher tubeless ready with a bead, so not hookless. They've got the company's own hubs, high quality bearings as well, and a claim weight of just under 1400 grams, which is right down there with a Zip 303, there's MV45s, and plenty of other good wheels that cost quite a bit more money. They're also UCI approved as well, so they should be tough enough for regular riding, and I don't need to go and ride them over any curbs to make sure they are. Also worth noting that as well as disc brakes that we have here, they are available in a rim brake version, which is nice because lots of bike brands, or wheel brands, should I say, are now increasingly going over to disc brakes and leaving behind rim brakes. So Yolio is one of the few brands still offering a rim brake version in a high spec wheel set like this. 
And of course, the price is one reason why brands like Yaleo are gaining so much traction and becoming a real viable alternative to more mainstream bike brands. So I hope you're sitting down for the prices because you might be astonished. Have a punt at how much you think the frame costs. 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 dollars perhaps? No, all wrong. $1,215 is the price for the frame set. And the complete bike with lower gray wheels and knees and an Ultegra mechanical group set, it's just over $4,000. Not $8,000 or $12,000, $4,200. And then these wheels, these flagship wheels are carbon and fiber spokes, no less, $1,310, which is a frankly astonishing price. Now you might be thinking, ah, but the shipping is gonna be a big cost as well. But the company offers free shipping worldwide, so that is a non-issue as well. So far then, all very positive, but there is a big elephant in the room, and that is delivery. Now, for obvious reasons, you can't go into a bike shop, a uh, showroom, and see the bike in the flesh or take it for a spin before you buy it. You have to buy it over the internet, unseen. But I think it's fair to say, many of us are more used to buying things online, whether from Amazon, Wiggle, people buying cars and houses online, and bikes are increasingly sold online. Look at the success of Canyon and other direct sales brands. So I think that idea of buying over the internet is probably less of an issue for many people than it used to be 10 years ago. But of course, buying from China as a UK customer, it's a different kettle of fish to buying from a neighboring country. But the company is working hard to remove this barrier, this hurdle to buying one of their bikes. So for a start, as I mentioned already, there's free worldwide shipping, which is a really nice thing. So quite a big cost to remove straight away. Shipping time is between four and six weeks, which sounds quite long compared to some other direct sales brands and definitely compared to going to like a bike shop and picking one up there and then. But in this crazy world we live in of delays and supply issues, that's probably par for the course these days. It's probably a small price to pay for the savings you're getting from buying a Yolio. So when the bike finally arrives, as it did last week for me, the bike arrives in a box and assembly was pretty easy. They have assembly videos on their website if you need extra help. And I found it no more difficult than any other bike I've assembled from brands like Canyon. Actually really easy to be honest. The only fiddly part was the spaces around the stem. They interlocked into place, but that was the only little tricky bit. But other than that, it all went together well. And you get a bag of bits and spares, like mech hangers, extra spokes, which are really nice detail. And there's an out front computer mount included as well. So that attention to detail and how well it's packaged and prepared and how easy it went together and all the spares you get made the whole process fairly fuss free really. So that has been a thorough first look at a brand new Yolio R12 Aero race bike and some of the pros and cons of buying direct from China from a brand like Yolio. Now if you are intrigued, then check out our website for more details on their bike and other bikes and wheels in their catalogue, link down below in the description. And if you want to know what the bike is like to ride, well stay tuned for part two, while I get some pedals fitted, get changed and go for a ride and see how this stunning bike performs. Anyway, that's all for now. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all again very soon. Thank you so much for watching.